What's up, trade hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today is Wednesday, August 19th. Hope your trading is going well. Taking a look at the markets. So the S&P looked like it was just going to continue this march higher. And then all of a sudden, about an hour ago, uh, time of this recording is 145 central, so about 1245 or 1, all of a sudden the bottom kind of dropped out. Now, if you're looking at a daily chart, I mean, this is nothing as far as a move down. But if we uh, take a look at a intraday, a five minute chart, do a little bit more justice on this move. I mean, it looked like the market was just going to continue to kind of grind higher like it has the last couple weeks. And then boom, uh, I got a little drop here. Uh, I, I did see that uh, Federal Reserve Jerome Powell came out and said, hey, you know what? I think this coronavirus thing is going to weigh heavy on our economy. Like, thank you genius. Uh, so anyway, that that's what they're saying made, made this drop, but who knows, uh, it could just be a little profit taking or algos or whatever else. But anyway, it is what it is. So we'll see how the session ends. We've still got a little, a little over an hour before the, the cash market closes. Uh, so what did we do today? Well, we did a nice trade in Target. Target. Going back to a, a daily chart. So Target announced earnings this morning before the market opened. And, and so we have a very specific tra uh, strategy that we teach in our earnings course, a post-earnings trade. So if a stock gaps up after earnings above its expected move, so I've got this, I just kind of marked this on the chart here. That's kind of the expected move is about five and a half bucks. Uh, obviously, it opened higher than that. And we, we took some long positions and target just exploded. So we entered right near the open did exactly what we were hoping it would do. And uh, we actually got out of the trade just a couple hours later with an over a 100% return uh, on that trade. So very nice trade in Target. And that wasn't even anticip that wasn't even supposed to be a day trade. But here's what we did on our day trading. Let me bring over my um, Tastyworks platform here. So this is what we did. So uh, Mighty 90 trades were just okay. I was actually down a little bit overall. A lot of our members were, were positive on the day, uh, but my monster trades were my pairs trades. Uh, not a monster, but my Russell NASDAQ, a couple hundred bucks there, but my monster was in gold silver. You can see I booked over 2,900 in silver, 340 in gold. So up over 3,300 for the morning. So great day of day trading. And so that's what we got going on there. If you are interested in following us, we, I mean, we stream this live every morning for the first 90 minutes of the market. And, um, and it's been, it's been awesome. I think we had uh, almost a hundred people in there this morning and, uh, it's been cool. So if you want to check that out, if you want to follow, you want to, you want to be part of that live stream and watch us trade live, uh, just go to navigationtrading.com slash day trade, and you can check out that. Uh, so what else did we do today? Uh, we put on a couple uh, trades, one in Tesla, T-S-L-A. Uh, put on a, a, one of our iron duck trades here. So we've got no risk to the upside. And we've got a huge buffer down here where we can hit max profit. And then we've also did an earnings iron duck in NVIDIA. And so kind of a similar thing. We have no risk to the upside. And we've got a huge buffer all the way down to about this level where we can book max profit. Uh, and so we'll see what happens in NVIDIA. So the ultimate goal would be for NVIDIA, NVIDIA to just kind of hang out and go down a little bit. Uh, but if this thing rips higher, no matter how high it goes, we'll still book a little bit of profit. So great strategy for earnings. Uh, so that's all I got for you. Everybody have a great evening. Talk to you tomorrow. See ya.